Alrighty, time for UFC 102 predictions. Start out with the undercard Ed Herman versus Aaron Simpson. Aaron Simpson has an impressive record, but uh, he just doesn't have any really top wins yet. And then Herman's just kind of like the gatekeeper there at 185. I'm just going to go with Ed Herman. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how. But uh, just going to go with Ed Herman. Marcus Aurelio is back, and he's going to versus Evan Donham. Uh, that's a toughie. I'm going to go with Aurelio. I think he could do it. I think he's going to, hopefully he comes, you know, better equipped this time around in the UFC than he was last time. Uh, Nick Catone versus Mark Manaz. I think I got, yeah, I got Nick Catone. I remember a while back, he was scheduled to fight Amir, and I heard a lot of people saying he's a pretty good fighter. So, Todd Duffy versus... Tim Hagu, who I've been compared to, looks wise. I'm gonna go with Tim Hagu. I don't know. He just he impressed me with that fight over Barry. And I'll go. Let's go with their clutch submission or something. Justin McCooley versus Mike Razal. I'm gonna go with Mike. He looks impressive. Um, Justin McCooley just looks like a chubby 205er to me. He needs to go to 205, I think. He'd do better there. But Mike, uh, he looks good, strong. I don't think he, let's see, did he have a loss? I, I don't think he had a loss. Or he had a pretty damn good record. So, let's see. He has one loss by submission. Otherwise, he's 11 and 1, so that's pretty good. Um, Gabriel Gonzaga versus Chris Tuckashear. I'm going to share Tucker Shearer. I don't know. I'm going to go with Gabriel Gonzaga. Chris Tucker Shearer looks, he doesn't, he looks a little puffy for, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of puffy guys, you know, heavyweight, but he just, he probably, he may gas or something. I think Gonzaga, this is kind of a give me win for him to get back on track. Gonzaga, that's a, just a sad story. I mean, the, how little he's been able to do after that, uh, Crow Cop win. All right, on to the main card. Kristoff versus Brandon Vera. Brandon Vera has done nothing for me at 205, so I'm just going to pick Kristoff. There you go. There, that's probably a slight upset. Um, Brandon's just, he hasn't gotten together at 205. They gave him that Andy Reese fight, and that was supposed to be a slam dunk for him, and he, did, he couldn't do it. He just he got a decision win. Yeah, less, less said about his potential, the better, I guess. Damian Maya versus Nate Marquardt. Uh, I'm going to go with Nate because he just has more tools than Maya. I mean, I think Nate could keep it standing and uh, take over from there. Just because Maya is so green with the stand up, and if you take, you keep him up and don't let him, you know, take you down, you got a good chance of winning a fight. Chris Lieben versus Jake Rosehalt. I'm going to go with Chris Lieben. I love the Lieben. Uh, I'll stick with them through thick and thin. Uh, he's admitted his mistakes. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to hold it against him. He's a fun fighter to watch, and I'm happy he's back. Uh, Keith Jardine versus Tiago Silva. This is a tough one because Keith Jardine is one of these yo-yo fighters who wins one and loses one just back and forth, up and down. And, uh, you know, if you look at his record, He's entitled for a win here. But I think Tiago Silva has some heavy-ass hands. And I think he has a really good chance of KOing Jardine. So, yeah. Gonna go with Silva. Even though I probably will regret it or something. I don't know. It just keep Jardine. He's an enigma. Alright. And the main event. Randy Couture versus Antonio Nagira. Um, pretty much, the rest of the card looks almost, you know, fight night worthy until you stamp this little instant classic on it. I mean, this is like the saving grace of the whole card. Because, I mean, the rest, I mean, it's okay, but it's not anything that I would call pay-per-view pay worthy. So, that's an interesting fight. I'm a, you know, I'm a Randy Couture fan. I'm going to, I'm going to pick him because I think he can uh, get Nogira in the clinch and, Put him against the cage and just dirty box, just dirty boxing him out. Uh, 
I don't know. It may not happen. Really, you know, these guys, if they lose to each other, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, that's the great thing about this fight. And, you know, they both are winners already. They're great fighters. And I really won't be upset if one guy wins or the other because I like them both. Yeah, but I'm just going to go with Couture because he knows the cage better. He's been there longer. I just like the experience factor in this fight. All right, so those are my picks for UFC 102. Hopefully it delivers better than it looks because just there's some one-sided fights here. There's, you know, like I said, it's almost like the one main event saves it from being a free card. So hopefully it delivers. Yeah, that's all I can say. It, you know, it can deliver by having good, exciting fights. You don't have to have big names to have that. You can do that. Fighters who are encouraged who want to make the extra bonus money, go out there and do your thing. That's what I want to see. All right, Cody out of here.